What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I'm gonna show you the best settings for playing Godhead on PCSX2 so you can achieve these graphics. For that we'll install the Ultra HD Texture Packs and the best emulator settings for this game. If you're planning on buying on Amazon, please use my affiliate link below in the description. Any product on the website will count and you will be directly supporting the channel. So I have the emulator here with me with the game in place and if you don't have PCSX2 on your PC, you can watch my full tutorial video on how to set it up. I'll put the link of it on the description of this video. So here on the emulator, the first thing we're gonna do is tweak the game settings. So on the game name, you're gonna click on this with the right button of your mouse and then you're gonna select properties. This window will show up and we're gonna start by heading to the emulation tab. And in here, we're gonna enable this one, enable fast CDVD. This will massively reduce the loading times of this game. And below that, you're gonna click on optimal frame pacing as well. This will help with the input lag on this emulator. Now head over to the patches tab and you're gonna enable the two patches in here, the widescreen and the no interlacing. Now move over to the graphics tab and on the top, where it says render, the one render that works the best for me in this game is Direct3D11, but Vulkan is also pretty good as well. So I'm gonna recommend you to start with Direct3D11, and if you have issues with the graphics, you can pick Vulkan in here. Now below that, on adapter, this is gonna be your GPU, that is your main GPU. In case you have two GPUs showing up in here like I do, you're gonna pick your main one. Now on the display section, the first setting you're gonna change is the aspect ratio. Click on this one and change to widescreen 16 by nine because we activated the widescreen patch in here, right? So we have to change it in here as well so that it works in game. And right on the bottom, you're going to enable anti-blur as well. Now head over to the rendering section and the first one, internal resolution, this is the one that's gonna make the most difference. In here, you can increase the game's resolution. And the higher the resolution you pick here, the better the game will look, especially with the Ultra HD texture pack. But by increasing the resolution here, it's going to require more of your GPU. So what you can do here is start playing the game with something like 2x native, and see if the performance is okay. And from there, you can increase the resolution even further. And you can change this option here with the game running, so you can see the differences happening in real time. Now go to an isotropic filtering and change this one to 16x, and on blending accuracy, click on this one and select the high. Now lastly, you're gonna click on texture replacement tab. And in here, you're gonna enable load textures, a synchronous texture loading, dump textures, and dump MIP maps. This is for the HD texture pack. Now here, what we're gonna do, you're gonna open your emulator folder, and you're gonna see that there's a folder here called textures already created there for you. And you're gonna double click on this folder, and it's gonna be empty like the one that I have in here. So what you're gonna do now is on the emulator, you're gonna start the game. And you're gonna notice that as soon as you start the game, it's going to create a folder in here. So go on and double click on the game to start. And in just a few seconds, you're gonna see this folder in there for you. So now you're gonna stop the game, click on system and click on shutdown without saving. Now you're going to double click on this folder. And this is where you're going to drop the HD texture pack, which is this file right here. And I can't show you on the video where to get this texture pack because sharing textures like this one is against YouTube's guideline because there is copyrighted material in there. So you're gonna have to find this file on your own, which shouldn't be hard to find. So in the zip file, which I open with 7-zip, you're gonna double click on this folder. You're gonna notice that there's a folder with the same name as this one. So you're gonna double click on that. And this is the folder you're gonna need. So all you gotta do here is simply drag this folder into the emulator folder. So it's just a matter of clicking with this one with the left button on your mouse, drag your mouse to this folder, and then let go of the button. And when you do so, it's going to do the extraction. 
This will take about a minute or so depending on how good your PC is, but all you gotta do here is just wait. And there you go, now the textures are in place and from here you can just start the game as normal on the emulator and the textures are gonna be in there. I have many emulation tutorial videos like this on the channel, so if you like what you saw, don't forget to check out my other stuff, subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.